Hey guys, she's back. All right, this is a general reading for the collective of Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Welcome cross watchers. Hello to those of you who may be new to the channel. Happy to have you join us. So I'm back from Hurricane Milton. Um, I didn't lose power, but I do not have internet or cable. So what I'm doing here is I'm operating off my, um, my cell phone hotspot. I do not know if it's gonna let me do long form recording though. So this is sort of an experiment. If it does, yay. Um, but I'm just gonna go, I'm just gonna roll with it and uh, see what happens. So I am pulling from Gateway of Light Activation, Oracle to activate the reading. Let's see what message comes through for you today. Inner Earth, somebody else got this too. Base chakra, strength and security, laying foundations. I want to say cancer got it. Yes. So it is about the root chakra. It is about security, feeling security, uh, sense of security, laying foundations. Um, yeah, give me a minute. I gotta get my bearings because it's been kind of a rough road. Um, I think I was saying about this card that it also feels very Three of Pentacles to me. The Pentacles is Earth energy and um, it looks like that card, right? If you look at the Three of Pentacles, it's in the basement of the church and this even has that sort of feeling of being in a cavern um, and the Three of Pentacles talks about that cooperation that's needed to lay a strong foundation upon which to build that beautiful structure, correct? Okay, so I just wanted to get that out of my head because I think I said the same thing and I think it was a Cancer reading, if I'm not mistaken. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull the spread. I will give you my general impressions. We'll go back around with the clarifiers for the details. Do keep in mind it's a general reading, not a private reading, so it may not resonate for everyone, but take what speaks to you, leave the rest. If it does speak to you pretty accurately, I will go into detail in an extended, um, and the links for that are below. As always, these readings can come through reverse. What does that mean? I could be talking directly to a cross watcher. Could be all your energy coming through here. All right, here we go. Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Hierophant. So with the Hierophant, um, we're opening here with themes around commitment. Could be talking to our higher selves here, but it is about um, our responsibilities, our obligations, the vows we make and take in life. What's the challenge? What's crossing us here? The chariot. Maybe there's no forward motion. Maybe we're stuck. Um, the chariot is about moving forward, making progress, being it's 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 victory, it's triumph, and and there's a challenge there somehow. At the root of the problem, three of swords. Okay, so we've maybe got some heartache here. Uh, definitely some lingering pain or something that. Um, is being perceived as a loss, a setback. In the past, the star, some hope. And I'm feeling like that's been dashed. That hope has been dashed. Uh, seven of wands in your conscious awareness. Well, sure. Now it's kind of like there's a, um, a bit of defiance, self-protection. Yeah, consciously saying, whoa, whoa, whoa. And Ten of Swords in the near future. So the Ten of Swords is kind of like that part of it is done. So I almost, I almost feel like the Three of Swords is very present energy uh, for whoever you are watching. It's present. Um, what was once promised um, is no longer moving forward feels like it's come to a screeching halt, pulled back on the reins of that chariot, and that's what's causing the pain. That's at the root. That's the root of the problem is a lot of heartache, heartbreak even. There was hope in the past, but that's been dashed, and now there is this 
Um, I can, I can feel it, Sag. I can feel that sort of, yeah, now I got to protect me. Now I have to stand up for me. And then in the future, the tens are completion. So the pain of it all is complete. Let's, uh, let's, and, and so therefore, right? Strength and security. Here's your strength in the, in a moment where some measure of security feels to have been ripped away. Um, laying, laying foundations. Um, it's interesting that I've got the four of swords on the bottom as well. So there's some healing involved. Um, and it's interesting that in this card, this person is, you know, in a state of healing and prayer in the, in the base of the church. Mm -hmm. You're seeing it. I know. Hierophant and chariot. The world card. Yes. Queen of cups, nine of cups on the bottom. This, this is the endings and the new beginnings of it all. Um, I'm almost feeling like you opened yourself up and now you're, you know, the queen of cups is you in that open space, right? And, and somehow this is your present energy, this conscious awareness of, and now I have to protect my heart. Now I have to protect, right? Because you feel it breaking. You feel something being ripped away from you by way of some complacency maybe or something that was promised and then you know you get that rug pulled out from under you no forward progress the world card is saturn so it's a lesson learned um, it could be for some of you that this has happened before sometimes the world is cycles because saturn right those saturn returns can be a bitch um, but I am feeling whether it's cyclical or not, I'm feeling like you opened your heart in this situation and now it, 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 at the root of the problem is you're, you're feeling a bit clobbered. So let's see that three of swords. Yeah. Yeah. You were, you were so looking forward to this, um, this, this. Could be the beginning of life partnership. Four of Wands, anticipating it, and here you are um, with the Three of Swords with some pain around it. It isn't going anywhere. For some of you, it's been ripped away. For others of you, it just isn't going anywhere. Um, you might have thought it was, you had hope that it was, but it's not, because some either it's not moving um, someone's now singing a different tune, whatever it is, they're saying, I'm good, everything's good, why, you know, why mess with a good thing, you know, that, it's been a theme in the readings lately, guys, I do want to say this Nine of Cups has appeared a lot, and it has, com it has appeared as complacency, which means that somebody's kind of resting on their laurels, things feel good, why do you know, aren't you, aren't you enjoying this? Why do things have to change? Why do you want more? It's been coming through that way um, in this series of readings quite a bit. And it's been coming through as like a little bit of a shock because you thought you were on the same page. So I'm saying this is in the general collective of all the signs that I'm getting that sort of, and it's showing up differently. Don't get me wrong. I'm, it's just that it seems to be there's a little variation on a theme but the theme is one party is kind of like hey i'm good and the other party is but i thought we were moving forward i thought we were i thought we had a plan i thought we were on the same page about the future of this relationship or this connection and that's where the difficulty comes in that's where the challenge comes in so I'm seeing that Three of Swords as the pain of something that you were anticipating that is now not happening. All around commitment, 
or the beginnings of life partnership in a committed form. Then you opened your heart to that and now, mm -mm, the star in the past. See the three of the three of pentacles, don't they kind of have that similar look visually speaking, right? And you thought you were on the same page. Yeah, ace of swords, nine of wands. I'm going to hang in there. I haven't lost hope yet. I'm persevering because I can see it all unfolding and we're on the same page and we're, we're, you know, there's cooperation. So in the past for, you know, there, no hope was lost and you could visualize the dream coming true, the wish being granted. And so the nine of wands suggests that it wasn't easy. It was not easy. And that you were really, uh, it was a bit exhausting, a bit challenging, but you were in it. You were, you were moving forward. And now seven of wands. Can't even make it up. So that seven of wands, I'm not sure if it's your energy or if it's your person's energy, um, but here comes your king of swords. This, this figure shows up in Sag readings a lot. And guess what's landing on the king of swords? The chariot. So I'm gonna say there's shared energy of this seven of wands. Underneath is the High Priestess. So when I pull from the bottom of the deck, for those of you who are new, I'm tapping into what you can't see. It's either in your own unconscious awareness, so it's not something you're, you're consciously aware of, therefore you can't see it, or it's playing out behind the scenes, which you still can't see. So if the Seven of Wands is in your conscious awareness, it, it's something that you're leading with, which is your own self-protection. You may be protecting yourself against this, you know, King of Swords who's coming in a little cool, uh, very strategic with the forward progress, right? And you're kind, of tr you're kind of having to rely on your own intuition in the moment. If this is your person's Seven of Wands, then they're resisting the forward motion. And there may be a reason why behind the scenes that they're not sharing because the high priestess can be secrecy. Either way, right? You know if you're being defensive, right? If you feel the need to self-protect, then that seven of wands speaks to you. If you're not at that point, then you know if this person is being resistant, don't you? So you can take this part of the spread either way. It's general, so you have to take it as it speaks to you. But I can see how it could go either way because that King of Swords is a strategist. And that, that chariot is what's crossing you. It's what's getting in the way. And being that it's a problem card, it's kind of coming through reverse. No forward motion, no progress. So it's either no progress and you're trying to figure out Self-protect and figure out using your intuition or there's something they're not telling you. Something, you know, a little secrecy to it, a little mystery. So in the near future with the Ten of Swords, pardon all the noise of the neighbors, right? It's mayhem around here, guys. I cannot help all that. We're gonna give everybody a lot of grace right now. Okay, so the 10 of swords, as I said, is like the end of a painful cycle. This is all happening now and you're going through it now and it's a cycle now because we see the world card and it's all really pretty gnarly. And the 10 of swords brings the end of that. But does it really? Um, the Page of Swords is that curiosity. Like, right? Like, is it really over? Is it really done with? And 
we have the lover's card and the lover's card is a card of choice it can also be to choose reunion reconciliation of coming back together um and there's a communications card now the page of swords can also be communication so i feel like in the future we may close out this painful cycle but the the story may not be over there may be some attempt at some form of communication that clears up clears something up or brings clarity to it okay and i'm feeling pretty um certain we'll get some answers to that in the extended and we're going to be taking a look at our king of swords here in the extended right how does that person show up what are what what's their take on this whole situation how are they seeing you thinking about you feeling about you what are their intentions because that may give you all you need to know to anchor this reading in a bit more okay so the links to that are below option one is a sagittarius monthly renewal and gives you everything Sagittarius, everything I've done, this one and everything I'm gonna do and a couple other extra things. Um, option two is just this extended, one and done. And option three as always is the all access pass. So that's what I'm gonna do before I give you the astrology here. If you haven't already done so and you've been enjoying the readings, please do subscribe. Um, I may be making some changes to the channel, so please stay alert. If you see any, you know, channel update, uh, be sure to watch that because those changes are coming and they may very well impact the Sagittarius readings. Okay, so here we go. Hierophant is Taurus. Um, chariot comes out. Well, Hierophant is here twice, Taurus. Um, chariot, whoa, come back, is Cancer. That comes out twice. We have the world is Saturn, Aquarius, and Capricorn. Queen of Cups is Cancerian energy also. Uh, we have the beautiful star is Aquarian energy. Um, King of Swords is Aquarian energy. If you're dealing with Aquarius or have some of that in your chart, extra confirmation for you. High Priestess is um, it's also Cancerian energy because it's the moon. Got a lot of Cancer here too. Uh, Page of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. The Lovers is also Gemini. All right, that's what I have for you. Um, headed to the extended. I'll see you there in a second. Bye for now.